The Artifacts of Mound Independence and the Stories They Tell, a series of brief explorations of Revolutionary War artifacts from Mount Independence on Lake Champlain in Orwell, Vermont. I'm Jim Casco at Mount Independence State Historic Site in Orwell, Vermont. Today we're talking about axes and axe production. We've got three different size axes here. This very likely a felling axe, and this is in production as it's being made. You have a steel blade that's split and opened up, and then the rest of the axe, the pole, is put in here, and this is bent back and forge welded together. The same principle is used in these two axes. This one, which is about the size of a camp axe, typically it would be uh, issued to a mess in a company, in a company of soldiers, and it's made the same way. The steel blade is here, and this is wrapped around and welded to the steel, this being iron. This is a small belt axe used more likely for tra a trade item, relatively light. If you're walking everywhere you go, you want to implement, but you want it light. You combine, you combine combining a blade and a hammer. These two, this was an individual production likely. These two were very likely, likely made in factories with teams producing these at a relatively high rate. Both of these are relatively common and this being a relatively common trade item. 